but um, <laughs> these guys. Born in Kenya, um, both parents South Sudanese, uh, but they met uh, met in Kenya after fleeing the war in their home country in South Sudan. That's how we ended up uh, heading to Australia uh, when I was two years old. Pretty different to American football, but the AFL, but it's better in my opinion. Fast paced, high scoring, you know, most games and it's high flying. It, there's a lot, any, a lot of things happen. I uh, played that for a little bit, but yeah, then found basketball and that was my, my, my first love. When I was about 11, 12, um, my sister's, uh, her friend, their dad was like, you need, you need to play basketball. Thought I could do it just you know, stay fit, find some friends, didn't ever dream of playing college hoops or, you know, dream of playing professionally. It's, there's so many lessons, you know, basketball has, has teach me, taught me and especially at the Global Academy, you know, I, I learned so much about my body and, and health. Um, you know, I had an extended period of time where I was injured and, and during that time I learned a lot about, you know, the food you eat and um, how you can take care of your body, the weight room, um, and then, you know, just the culture there. Um, it was it was kind of college before college. Marty Clark, the, the head director there, um, you know, he reached out. I started my journey there in 2021, um, you know, grade 11 through grade 12, and you know, I had an amazing time there, um, which is pretty sad. I think they're going to more impoverished places around the world, but, you know, I'll see what's happening and, and you know, you know, give my best wishes. Coach Dunlap is, um, is very popular figure back home in Australia. You know, he coached my professional team back in my home city, at the 36ers Adelaide, um, back back in the 90s. Um, and that's where he built that Australian connection. My teammate's uncle, uh, Malachi, um, his uncle Jai, he, we've known each other since I was, since I started playing. Um, and he's always been a good mentor to me. And um, he was like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta check out this place. You caught me in contact with coach and, you know, the rest is history. I, I felt like perfect coach for me, perfect place for me. So um, we all talked about it together. Like it's such a big factor for, for most of us. You know, it's it's like a brotherhood. It's it's, it's a really good culture um, that we've established, and the Americans have jumped right into it. You mm -hmm. know, I feel like they're honorary Australians at this point. It's been really cool to build the culture and, and, and show some of the American guys, you know, what we do. But yeah, it was a big factor for all of us coming here because it's awesome. You know. It, it's a lot of jokes, um, a lot of laughs. I feel like it's it's a two-way street. And if we're over there in the corner talking about something happening back home, you know, they're peeping around the corner like, oh, what's that? Um, and we'll explain it to them and, and show, them, um, show them the good stuff. Mate is uh, definitely one of the words everybody uses around <laughs> everywhere. In South Sudanese culturally, you're, uh, when you're the firstborn son, you'll usually be named after your dad's dad. Um, just out of respect and just something they've done for mm -hmm. who knows how long, how many generations. So my grandpa as well. The way I, I tried to, to lock in and, and brush it off, I think I did a pretty good job, but it was pretty cool. You know, the, the announcer, you know, he did his thing. <laughs> and the crowd, I didn't expect that. First home game, I wanted to, you know, make sure we, we, we get the win and, and do my best part uh, to contribute to it. The, the team had their fun and games with that. You know, they kept imitating the announcer guy the, the whole day. When we walked out and, and seen the crowd, we were like, wow, this is, this is really special. Yeah, the Wings fan, 7'3". Okay. So, 7'3". I've always gradually been pretty tall. I've been a big uh, all my life, but I just always enjoyed shooting the ball. You know, coaches back home, you know, at the academy, um, they did a really good job helping me with my form and touch. Um, and then obviously Dunlap has, you know, he has all the confidence in the world and me and the whole team. But um, <laughs> these guys, um, I think everything's just starting to click more and understand the, you know, Coach Dunlap's system. Um, and we also just understand each other more. We might still have some growing pains later on in the season, mm -hmm. but um, I think we're on the right path and getting better every day. The court, on the court, um, you know, we, we have our laughs. You know, mm -hmm. it can be intense a lot of the times, but coach will always uh, find a way to, to make us laugh and, and really enjoy what we're doing. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, as far as, of course, the, the bridge guy, I'm from, from De George uh, now to Dunlap, but he bought in straight away, you know, ever since I met him, you know, he's just been 
a real solid guy, someone who leads by example and never complains about anything, you know, no matter the situation. I'm Malachi, um, you know, we've known each other since we were 13. Then I got in contact, contact with Mason, uh, Honeyman, and, um, and Jalen Pittman, uh, two Queenslanders, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, just spoke to them about it. And, you know, they were all ready to, to make the commitment. The food portions are, are something out of this world. <laughs> it's been a simple, simple transition. We did a team hike. Um, a couple months ago, and uh, that was an experience. Probably said one of the things we missed the most is, is the beach. It's been interesting trying to tra uh, convert Celsius and Fahrenheit every time. It doesn't get that cold, not even close. Immensely talented group, um, you know, at every position. Everybody brings something special to the table. But I think the number one thing is, is you know, our willingness to learn, um, to be coachable, and like to just go at it every every day. They're hard practices. Yeah. You know, they are tough practices, but you know, there's no complaining. It's always positive within this group and I think that's our biggest strength is how together we are and how we come together after a tough day at practice or even our first weekend, two bad games, uh, to rally together and string four in a row. Probably the biggest surprise I had. Um, coming in, um, it, everybody's so friendly. Um, so welcoming, you know, you need something, you just reach out to anybody, you know, whether it's anybody in the athletic department or even a professor. I'm sure other athletes mm -hmm. on, on, on different pro, uh, programs would say the same about the community. However which way Coach you know, Dunlap wants to use me, whether that's in the paint, you know, and using using my strength and, and height, um, length, or it's out on the perimeter or, or, or in the mid-range game, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's up to him and I'm I'm down for whatever, you know, whatever the team needs and he wants, I'm, you know, willing to do it. So I'm just excited to see how far we can take this thing.